So how are you? This is an all signs reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It's valid for whenever you watch it. Um, so this is a timeless reading and guidance for whenever you need. So this is an all signs reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do you need to know today? What messages does Spirit Guides have for you today? these cards that want to pop up I will clarify them alrighty wow I'm just going to take a moment to tune into them I feel like a lot of you are feeling confused. I feel like um, a lot of you are feeling confused or feel like you don't know which path to take. Um, there is this, there is a decision of some sort that you need to make which you haven't made. And because you haven't made the decision, you keep going. It's kind of like this round round situation where because you haven't made this decision, it's like the chicken and the egg, <laughs> which came first. Because you haven't made the decision, you keep thinking about it. It's playing at the back of your mind. It's for some of you, it's probably, you know, uh, impact you at, impacting you at a subconscious level. Some of you probably you're not feeling like you're getting good night's rest or you're not able to sleep properly or you may waking up. I'm also getting this vision of someone waking up in the middle of the night, really stressed, thinking about this situation and thinking, oh, my goodness, you know. Um, and for some of you, and this is not everyone, it could be to do with a romantic connection or um situation because we do have the we have two two card two um cards which are cups we've got the knight of Raphael, um or it could be a new energy as well um so the first card we have is the peace card and it says archangel azrael release the past there is a more and en enriching future coming let go and let god so this is very much saying release release what is not serving you it's it's come to its end it's come to its end and the angels are guiding you forward they are helping you to move forward but they now you need to make the decision you need to consciously just decide and say that's it i'm done with the past i'm not spending any more time and energy and and i am ready to move on and welcome what's coming my way i will clarify this then you have the knight of raphael it says committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet situations or topic that make your heart flutter so the moment you make a decision you will what i'm getting here is that because you haven't made this decision it is consuming a lot of your time and energy knowingly and unknowingly so because you haven't decided it keeps playing at the back of your mind and because that is taking up all this real estate in your mind you cannot think about anything else so creative pursuits, everything else is like you are in this fog. I'm just seeing a lot of fog. It's like this brain fog because if you're in this brain fog, you can't see these opportunities that are waiting you, these connections and friendships and even relationships for some of you because, hey, it's the Knight of Cups is ready to sweep you off your feet. But you need to be able to see that the night is approaching you. Otherwise, you're going to completely miss the night, right? So this is about going in and making a decision it's about just getting clear you've got the seven of Raphael, which is the seven of cups it's about options it says time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take action a need for detoxification yeah i think a lot of you just need to release people places and experiences that do not serve you i think you've been going around and around i just keep seeing this round and round situation it's like chasing your tail and not coming to any outcome because you just keep doing the same thing and you're getting the same result and it's just creating more and more i can feel it's frustration like you know energetically i can feel some like i'm just feeling hot around my neck and around my shoulders i feel like some of you are actually getting really really frustrated that you're just simply done and you want to be done but you don't know how to be done well the way you'll be done is making a decision so decide um the two of michael Decision is coming like 
it will be better if you just make a decision. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. So for some of you, you might need to find a compromise, but I find that it's not so much compromise. It's just what I'm getting more in terms of guidance is you need to just decide. You need to decide and then charge forward because you can't decide you're wobbling around. You are just neither here nor there. So you may have a lot of options, but not all options are good for you. And you already know that. I think you already know what to do and you know what the truth is in your heart for whatever reason, you're just not doing it. So let's clarify this peace card in your reading. Let's clarify this peace card in your reading, please. Knight of Swords, yeah, something is coming very quickly. So the moment you release the past, something new is going to come. Like the, the Knight of Swords is very quick energy. It's very quick. You can see, you can see here, the horse is just, you know, going, ch charging forward at a very fast pace. So this new energy is wanting to come, whether it's per people, places, experiences, is wanting to come into your sphere. But until you lift that fog, you're not going to see this. So you're going to, you know, so the best way to do is to decide and to move forward and then you'll be able to see it. Is there anything else that um, the peace card wants to share with us? I feel like it's a, not really. I'm feeling it's a no. So no more cards. So we'll go to the Knight of Raphael, Knight of Cups. Can we please clarify the Knight of Cups? Yeah, see, the <laughs> it's interesting. The hangman, like, I also feel, I'm feeling, th this is, again, he's feeling confused. He He's feeling stuck. I feel like a lot of this is to do with mentally being stuck. I feel like what's keeping you stuck is a mental thing. I feel like you are overanalyzing, being, you know, going back and forth with the story of something in the past, people, person, experience in the past, and you keep repeating that story in your mind. If you look carefully, this hangman, he's not actually stuck. He can easily like untangle himself from here and just free himself. So the moment you decide, you will free yourself. You'll become a free person. You'll become a free man, man or woman. Um, but it's about changing and shifting that perspective. It's about making the decision to really release yourself from this situation. So let's clarify the seven of cups. What's this Seven of Cups about? Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah. That situation has well and truly ended. This is an ending of a cycle. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a dry throat all, all of a sudden. I feel like some of you could not communicate in the past. It's just happened all of a sudden. So that situation has ended. It's time to let it go. I'm just going to grab some water. <coughs> yeah, you really need to release and let that go. I really think that you need to release and let that go. That was really weird. I don't, I don't have any cough. I don't have a cold or anything. This was just really, this energy just wants to be released. <clears throat> and I feel like it's to do with, you did not feel there was enough um, or equality in give and take. And there was a lack of balance in that past situation. So I feel like, the reason why you're going around and around in that situation is because you probably feel depleted or you probably feel that it was not fair at some level. <clears throat> what is this two of Michael? What is this two of Michael? Let's clarify the two of Michael, please. What is the two of Michael? This is the two of swords. Yeah, you are just done. You've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This burden is just like too much. You're just done with this situation. It is weighing you down. I think you've been in this round, round circle for a while. 
I feel like some of you have been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in terms of perhaps just even having that conversation to your own self, not to the person, situation or job, but within your own self. I feel like it's really, really weighing you down. Let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out. But I feel like this is the end of the cycle. I think like you, you, you're nearly there. It's just, it's about, you know, yeah, it's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. You've, you've had enough of the situation. It's time to move forward. It's time to cut the cords. It's time like the sword is tell you know, it's time you already know you deep down. If you were to be honest with yourself, I think you already know the answer. You already have a decision, but for some reason, and I think it's probably more an emotional thing, um, that this keeps playing in your mind. So the queen of swords is saying, cut the ties, cut the cords, move forward. It's time to cut the cord. It's time to move forward. This is not serving you. This is not serving you. So it's time to stop analyzing. It's time to stop overthinking things. It's time to, it's time to make a decision. It's time to make a decision so you can move forward in your life. You can focus on your goals. You can focus on yourself because this situation is definitely not helping you. Wow. Could that be any clearer? <laughs> I'm going to get an Oracle card. If this does resonate with you, please do hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell. So, you know, um, when I've posted the next video, Oh, the card that really, okay. I, I will, I will read these two cards, but the card that really jumped out, they're all both relevant. I think, um, is this one, this fell straight. You saw that it just fell straight, um, here on my desk. It says love life, new or renewed romantic love is here for you. So if this was a romantic connection and if you worried that, will you be able to love again? Will you be able to open your heart again? The answer is yes, you will. First, you must leave, leave the past behind. Leave the past where it belongs, which is in the past. And here, some of you, I think what's keeping you back or holding you back is feeling your emotions. It says, let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages and guidance. I mean, that cough. Hey, I've, I've, done, I've done quite a few videos this week and this was the first time I was coughing. And I've, I'm, you know, I cleanse the space. I'm ready before I do a reading. And that was highly unusual for me to be coughing all of a sudden in the middle of the reading when the 10 of swords showed up. I feel like a lot of you felt like you could not speak or you, you were not heard in, in that connection, in that relationship. I feel like a lot of you felt like you could not express yourself. And for some of you, it's saying, feel your emotions. The more you feel and get in touch with yourself, the quicker you will be able to let go of this situation and allow new love to come in because it wants to come in. It really is waiting to come in. So thank you for joining me. That was your reading and I will see you at the next 